Hello, Faith Church. Hopefully you can hear me over the, the rustling of the fall leaves. Uh, it's just a, a great, great week where you can see water falling out of the sky, freshening up the earth, the leaves changing. Uh, and this, this time of year in, in Sacramento especially is, is just to remember after sometimes a hot summer, uh, dry summer, that, um, that God is still involved in our lives, still active and wanting to, to restore us, bring us, bring us freshness and, and, and remind us that, that God is there. There's uh, the Psalm for the day, Psalm 80, in three different times, once at the beginning, in the middle, and the end, the psalmist says, restore us, O God. And you know, bring us back to a place where we can um, can know the fullness of life again. And I think we've all been praying that in a number of ways. Uh, but the fall season hopefully will give us an opportunity to continue to say that together as we look with hope for what may be to come. Uh, in the meantime, the psalmist also, uh, all throughout the psalms, is just remembering the great things that God has done. Uh, where it says, "You, O Lord, have." are the God of, of Jacob, the God of, uh, of our ancestors that has, that has brought us out of Egypt, that has uh, given us sustenance in the desert, who, has, uh, who forgives us and, and gives us grace and life. And um, we have some opportunities to remember, I think, as we look towards the end of this calendar year, uh, there's a couple really important ways that we can remember what God has done and the faithfulness that God shows. One is through photographs and i would love to invite people to send in pictures especially uh, pictures in your own homes of your family worshiping together i think it would be so fun at the end of the year to be able to put together a slideshow uh, or a collage of some kind of individuals and families and life groups and all kinds of ways that our church has been the church uh, not in the walls of faith presbyterian but all over the place and just a reminder of, uh, of what 2020 has been. It's so tempting to want to simply say goodbye to 2020 and forget it, but I think we need to remember it, and I think we need to uh, dig deep, if necessary, to look for the ways that God has been really faithful, the ways that God continues to restore and, and do great things. So one is through photographs. Send some pictures, not just of worship, but just pictures of your family, pictures of of uh, events at the church, maybe even the, the couple months before COVID hit, um, and let's put together some kind of a, uh, a memory page or slideshow of, of pictures from this year. Second way, and we've mentioned this before, is through these jars, and many families of our church have these jars already in their homes, uh, and these jars are, are, again, simply a way to, 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 uh, to see the jar and say, oh, I need to pay attention to the ways that God is being faithful and to put some uh, s some notes in there. And when you have one you want to share with the whole church, bring it into the church, into the narthex, there's the bigger jar, and to place it in there. I'm still waiting for that the first uh, that first note from someone to appear in there so we can share that with the congregation and encourage us to continue to do that and to fill that jar up with ways that God has, has been faithful so that we can celebrate those from time to time in the course of our worship and uh, through... Uh, the course of perhaps these house-to-house -house messages. Uh, I'm going to be looking for one for next Wednesday. But I'm going to put mine in there. And one of mine is... Um, pulling one out. Uh, simply says, uh, Thankful to God for creative new outlets that have given us new memories and closeness as a family. Uh, so thankful for ways that we've been forced to look for for new ways in our own homes. Each of our girls have, uh, in our family have found new ways to, to just be creative and, and enjoy the world around us. And we've been able to do that together as a family. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it in the bigger jar in the church. thought it might be nice just to catch a little piece of Eunice pl uh, playing the organ in the background as they do this. This seemed like a perfect setting, but here is the, the bigger jar. I've made a copy of the note that I just read to you, and I'm placing it into the jar. It's the first one. 
but I'm waiting for the first one that's not mine to come in there so that we can celebrate that. Um, and it's just, it, you know, if, if you don't feel comfortable sneaking into the church during the week to put, one, put a note in there of what God has done, uh, send me an email or send Jacob an email and we'll print that out and put those in there. That would be, that would be a, another way to, to do that. But make sure you put your name to it so we can uh, celebrate that with you uh, as, you, as, you go, as we go through this, uh, the rest of this COVID time together and beyond. We really want this to be something that is a, a tradition for our church is to, to notice this jar and to remember that we're a church, we're a people that calls out for God to restore us, but has, um, has faith even now that God is doing that and he's giving us some great, uh, some great ways to be restored. Uh, I'll just say amen to that and I will let you just listen in a little bit as Eunice continues to play. Thank <laughs> you. 